Welcome, residents, to our Talk of the Town podcast with Supervisor Dick Thurston. I welcome you uh, today and uh, every day to uh, come into our town hall and to uh, discuss anything that may be of a concern. Send your notes, uh, your comments as well. Uh, today, I want to talk about several things, uh, including a Lunar New Year greeting. Uh, but uh, issues that uh, residents uh, raise. Uh, I have regular meetings uh, with residents in the town, had a great one last night. And also, you know, want to continue to talk about the Wappinger initiatives as well as Monday night's uh, board meeting agenda. That's the board meeting for uh, January the 23rd here at Town Hall starting at 7 o'clock in the evening. But first, you know, I want to wish you all a happy Lunar New Year's. Uh, we are going to be uh, recognizing uh, in, throughout the world uh, the Lunar New Year holiday. This is based on a calendar year associated with uh, the moon cycles. And uh, it's observed as official holidays uh, by around 10 to 12 countries, uh, primarily within Asia, uh, East and Southeast Asia. And uh, this holiday is also celebrated around the world, uh, recognized around the world by uh, over 2 million you know, peoples. Uh, so uh, the you know, f festivity is actually, I mean, I'm sorry, 2 billion peoples, <laughs> about 2.2 to be exact. Uh, the holiday from a point of view of celebration uh, here in the United States starts on the 22nd of January. Uh, New Year's Eve uh, is also very traditional within uh, Asian you know, families. Uh, it's not just Chinese, although there's a misnomer of Chinese uh, Lunar New Year. Uh, it's, it's much more than that. This is going to be uh, the year of the rabbit, which is a very good, very auspicious year. And hopefully that many of the characteristics uh, such as prosperity, uh, peace, uh, and hope, you know, continue to play out in 2023. Personally, you know, from uh, watching closely economic uh, news coming out of particularly Asia, uh, but other parts of the world, uh, the, some of the dire predictions uh, I don't think are going to occur, uh, certainly not in the United States. And I'm you know, definitely hoping to see more relief you know, for our residents uh, from the point of view of easing of inflation, uh, particularly uh, food products such as eggs. Uh, so I hope that uh, everyone uh, you know, visits uh, you know, maybe their uh, local Asian establishments for uh, food, welcome everybody, uh, happy you know, New Year, and we have a little bit in the way of decorations here in Town Hall. Uh, shifting to uh, ongoing uh, issues of uh, concern um, and, and general topics, uh, last night I had uh, an excellent uh, meeting discussion with uh, a number of our residents. Uh, I am going around to different communities, different uh, individuals, uh, homes, you know, where they want to sponsor a discussion, but also in uh, different uh, meeting places. You know, to talk with the residents, this is an ongoing, you know, process, but certainly uh, last night I had an excellent one uh, where I just want to let you know that issues uh, and questions of concern, which you all have, you know, we had discussed. And uh, I also went through our uh, Wappinger initiatives that I envision, you know, or that are really important to the town. As you may have seen, the Southern Duchess News in, in my biweekly column, you know, has uh, the summary of uh, what uh, I envision. And we look at every year. You know, f first and foremost uh, among, you know, the residents' minds is really uh, taxes. Uh, they're very appreciative of the efforts that I and our town board that we together have done to you know, really minimize the impact of taxes on our community and uh, to have one of the lowest uh, tax assessment rates anywhere around the area and to continue to operate on a very conservative you know, budget, uh, regardless of what may happen economically, if there is improvement, we still intend to uh, keep a tight you know, control in you know, the coming year. Well, 
you know, incurring expenses that are needed uh, to sustain uh, our quality of life as well as to uh, enhance it, you know, going forward. So these uh, issues will uh, be continuing to talk about. Uh, another aspect of it is you know, relating to uh, water rates, as I've said before, and uh, you know we are in the process. I just met with uh, Leanne you know, Frino, and we're going to be you know, reevaluating, as we do every year, some of the water rates that are charged, particularly as connected to uh, sewer rates. So this is uh, very much uh, uh, on our minds. You know, we're just analyzing the past year's numbers along with the previous years. Uh, in the particular community I met last night, ATVs are concerned. Uh, they're a concern for us. You know, a lot of them operate on uh, vacant properties, uh, go through the you know, Central Hudson and other utility transmission line easements, and uh, on you know town properties. And we work very closely with the sheriff's department and uh, the deputies and Kirk Imperati in particular has been very helpful. It's just very hard uh, to catch the folks. And so, you know, we are you know, going to be increasing some of our activities in this you know, regard. Uh, traffic, uh, I think, you know, the housing, uh, all these issues uh, were discussed. I found uh, you know, a very interesting uh, discussion and we had a very constructive discussion. I want to share with you a lot of concern that's raised about will we see uh, a lot of uh, migrants uh, being you know, moving up here. Quite honestly, you know, we don't really have any places, no space. Uh, there's no availability of any real housing. We don't have hotels or motels in the town. You know, we're largely uh, a residential community uh, with some commerce along Route 9 and 9D. Uh, so, you know, we're uh, keeping a constant eye on that and uh, I'll let you know if there's anything that uh, we uh, should uh, see. Uh, this is also tax payment, you know, season. And so uh, our uh, tax receiver is collecting, you know, the taxes. And so if you have any uh, questions, always feel free to reach out to her and her staff, to myself and, and my staff, and any of our councilmen or women, you know, will be glad to answer. Uh, there has been some questions, again, raised with respect to delinquency. Uh, we've uh, tried to respond, but there's very little we can do when you haven't paid the taxes on a timely basis because of state-mandated laws that prevent our tax uh, receiver you know, from uh, doing anything or reducing or waiving you know, the fees. Those are beyond our control, unfortunately, but we're happy to talk with you and explain what needs to be you know, done in that regard. Uh, we're you know, looking forward to uh, more such discussions, a very constructive, proactive approach that I try to take. And if you have any questions or would like to come by, of course, please do that. Uh, on our Monday board agenda, as I mentioned last time, I'm going to try to give you previews and also summaries, you know, based on uh, what we are you know, planning to do. Uh, today, you know, later today, we finalize the agenda for next Monday's board meeting, January 23rd. As you know, you know, we have live meetings, uh, have had live meetings, but for really the three months that we had uh, shutdowns. And, you know, we also put it out there on the cable vision uh, and uh, our two cable sites, uh, as well as on our town website. And, you know, we generally, you know, try to get the information out there so you are well aware. One of the issues uh, that's before the board is uh, we had extended, uh, you know, the uh, public hearing on the repeal of a particular section of our town code. Uh, that uh, was adjourned until the 23rd, so uh, that meeting uh, we'll discuss it, but hopefully we'll be able to wrap that up uh, and uh, with uh, you know the board voting uh, with respect to that repeal. Uh, additional items are you know a number of uh, you know, ongoing uh, issues. Uh, we'll have our uh, 
Department of Buildings and Grounds Supervisor, Steve Frazier, giving this update, particularly with respect to his list of major projects. You'll recall last year he submitted a list to the board and he's been working on those and he'll give an update you know, related to that. And we also will uh, have uh, other discussions uh, relating to a proposal by you know, the uh, you know, Wappingers Falls you know, Football League. You know, we're going to have a uh, yeah, we're in the process of uh, finalizing uh, a parking sign that will be dedicated space for our veterans. Uh, that will be discussed at the board meeting. And by the way, with respect to parking, I've seen there's been some discussions outside of handicap parking. Here in Town Hall, you know, we have two doors that are uh, open uh, to the public. Uh, ones on the east end uh, over by our senior center and also the front main doors. For security reasons and control, we keep the door facing the emergency services building and that's directly next to the court and closed and locked. So if anybody comes in the town hall, we had added handicapped parking spaces on the east side, uh, feel free to use that. If, if those are taken, then just give us a call and uh, call Maria, you know, my executive assistant, and uh, we can uh, let you in, uh, open the door, unlock the door to come in on the west side of Town Hall. Uh, on other board agenda items, there'll be a Carnweth update. Uh, we have uh, you know, a, a tenancy, a water tenancy agreement, you know, to considered. Uh, we're looking at, and I'm proposing to the board that on the February 27th board meeting, you know, we uh, hold a workshop at that Monday night meeting on e-code and other code amendments. Uh, this has been a topic of discussion uh, amongst the board members, and we all agreed to hold a workshop uh, going forward. Uh, often we hold workshops on Saturdays, but I thought that in order to let more of the public uh, be able to watch or to participate, uh, then I wanted to hold it on a Monday night. If we need a second meeting, then we can uh, reconvene that on a Saturday here in Town Hall. Uh, we'll be considering RFPs for our uh, consultants in the areas of engineering, legal, and planning. Uh, there are some topics that we want to discuss relating to the services over the past year, so that's on the agenda. Uh, Community Day, you know, our uh, planning for that, you know, going forward, and uh, I think a recreation schedule, uh, all that will also be discussed you know, during the board meeting. You know, we have some other, uh, you know, issues that are relating to just approvals of the highway superintendent's proposal for roads and the amount of money that will be needed uh, for the paving. So these and uh, some other topics uh, will be on our agenda uh, and uh, there'll be some resolutions passed. So, you know, please, if you have any questions, you know, come on out. You know, we have a public portion at the beginning of the meeting uh, where you can raise questions or comments uh, on uh, that. In the meantime, you can also, you know, feel free to uh, you know, talk, you know, with me or any of our councilmen and women or any staff member that may be uh, involved with any of those particular items once the agenda comes out later today. So, you know, thank you very much, you know, for uh, your attention, uh, for you know, your efforts uh, to help make you know, Wappinger a much better community to live in. And uh, I think that well, I want to stress again that in order to do more activities, uh, we, we seek your help uh, through volunteerism. Uh, I uh, discussed this also last night. You know, we have an even more active uh, agenda uh, for our seniors, uh, for our veterans, uh, to name a few, uh, during this coming year. Uh, we've started the Veterans Corner podcast. So, I'd love to have your help and support. You know, come on out, uh, sign up, and uh, we look forward to seeing you soon. So until soon, please stay safe and remain well, and happy Lunar New Year. Thank you.